Jewish Voice for Peace is a anti-Israel hate group. Um, what's her name? Esty Chandler. I went to an event that they uh, sponsored and co-sponsored with Students for Justice in Palestine. Their keynote speaker was Nico Pellet, and at that meeting, he told the students there that it was perfectly fine, just, and moral for Gazans to go into Israel and attack Israelis living there, that they deserve it, essentially. So they, just, I mean, um, Jewish, Jewish Voice. Voice for Peace supports uh, terrorism against Israel. By, they also held a big event for Rash, Rashmia O'Day. Did I say that right? Uh, she's a terrorist, a convicted terrorist, and yet they, <laughs> and yet they uh, applaud her and put her on a pedestal. So this is a hate group. In, it's a hate group in sheep's clothing just by their title. Uh, there's actually a video online of Miko Polid saying this very thing, that it's okay. At UCLA, by the way, it was held. The other thing I want to say, the other thing <laughs> I wanted to say is that the students on campus here are afraid of Students for Justice in Palestine. They hold, when they hold Jewish events, they're afraid to publicize it. You don't even Why? hear it because they don't want them to show up. Well, what happens when they show up? Well, there is an, another video on, on uh, YouTube that shows uh, SJP showing up to a group called uh, Students Supporting Israel, and they also had uh, other speakers from Armenia and Kur the Kurdish uh, Kurdistan. people. And while they were um, holding the event, SJP showed up, wa walked straight up to the guy, the, the guy from Armenia was speaking, walked straight up to him, behind him was his flag, ripped it down, took whatever he had on the table, his notes, and threw it away. And th with bullhorns and whistles and screaming in their faces, uh, told these uh, people essentially that their meeting was over. And as a matter of fact, the meeting did not continue. That fellow who was uh, speaking up for Armenians never got to finish his speech. Uh huh. Does the campus police bear some responsibility in providing special protection for Jewish groups that meet now on campuses? The campus police showed up. They took forever to get them out. <laughs> you know? The campus police take their marching orders from the administration. It's the responsibility of the administration to tell the campus police how to, how to protect the students, regardless of what ethnicity or what their position is. It's up to the administration to instruct the police. And that's exactly what our letter, we presented a demand letter to the chancellor, and that's what it said. Do you feel that the uh, administration is being objective in these matters? I don't know. I mean, do you feel that they, they're showing a bias uh, 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 against doing anything that's, uh, that would be a, a, a potential uh, lawfare from the uh, Muslims or far left? What I, what I do feel is that if we were any other ethnicity, we would be protected. If we were blacks we would be protected from the KKK and and this is not what's happening here as a Jewish minority our kids are not being protected